I remember trying to convince my dad in the 90s to buy a mouse for our 486 computer. It was a real battle. When it came time to sign up for Facebook, however, he joined spontaneously without even a suggestion from me. Social media and the internet have fundamentally changed how we interact with each other. Let's examine how social media could change clinical care, education, and research. For clinical care, people all over the world are becoming more comfortable with sharing personal details online. Many of our patients already post status updates to social media sites regarding the progress of their care. Perhaps these changing attitudes regarding privacy will moderate the post-HIPAA world in which we live. We are on the cusp of a revolution in image sharing, but we're at risk for creating a fractured system with little interoperability and integration. Why is it easier for me to share vacation photos from the middle of Vietnam with friends all over the world than to share my chest x-ray between hospitals across town? How can we integrate existing social networks into image sharing solutions? How can we use messaging to improve communication with patients? Perhaps Next Generation Risk will have out-of-the-box support for appointment reminders, just-in-time updates on wait times and delays, and alerting not only when reports are complete, but also after the referring physician has reviewed the results, all via email or text message. How about education? Just a few years ago, producing an educational video meant months of planning, shooting, and editing with expensive equipment. Now, videos can be made simply and quickly on a computer or even a tablet or smartphone. This cheap and easy video production is already beginning to revolutionize education. For example, Salman Khan started teaching math over the internet to his cousins who lived hundreds of miles away, posting videos on YouTube as a nice to have. Once people found his videos useful and left him positive comments, he kept going. Sharing his knowledge from finance to history and even medicine, the result is the Khan Academy, a library of over 3,000 free educational videos available online. What about research? There is no doubt that the internet provides a medium for improved collaboration which many researchers couldn't live without. However, the primary medium for communication of research results remains rooted in our tradition of paper with peer-reviewed publication. While paper has many advantages, in an increasingly media-rich world, journal articles are becoming stale, especially when peer review is such a time-consuming process with publication wait times measured in weeks to months. How many times have we all heard someone say, that's a great idea, but how would we get it published? Journal articles don't always provide an adequate mechanism for communicating ideas. Software and educational material creation are just a few examples. Currently, peer-reviewed journal publication holds the highest value of any academic currency. It might sound far-fetched, but what if we had a new currency where YouTube views and Facebook likes from respected peers were also a measure of success? One thing is clear. I look forward to watching social media evolve and for the next big thing that won't take any convincing from my father to implement.